If you're watching Breakfast on Wednesday morning, we met an amazing man called Terence. He struggled with loneliness over the years and he told us he doesn't have a Christmas tree. We promised we'd sort him out. He's in here. Hello, hello. Terence. It's what are you Walker doing here? Telly. Nice hey? to see you again. Well, can we, well, yeah. we, we made you a promise. Can we, can we yeah, come in? Yeah, of course you can. Do you know what? We've had, Terence, an incredible reaction to you coming on. I think the thing that really struck home was when you were mentioning how many times you've been on your own on Christmas Day. Yes, uh, I, I, like I said, I, what used to happen, I used to go round to my mother's on Christmas Day because I always cooked a meal for her here. And I always took the right thing round to her. And I used to buy a little bit all the time, like cigarettes and all, all this sort of stuff. And I used to parcel them all up at Christmas and put them in a, 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 a pillowcase and take them round to her. And one day, I'll never forget her saying to me, she said, do you know, she said, without you, she said, bringing me my presents at Christmas, I wouldn't have any presents, would I? And I often think about that now. You know, people on their own now hmm. don't get any presents from, from people. And the good news is this year, you have got Christmas dinner taken care of because of your work with HUV. I have HUV. indeed, yes I have indeed. So who are you going to go for Christmas dinner with this year? Uh, I'm going to go with our Nancy, yeah. She's your good friend you've been talking to she through is, HUV. She is, yes. Uh, she's 90 and she's got dementia. But having said that, uh, because I'd already dealt with a lot of people with dementia, there's a way to do it. Do you think the fact that you've struggled with loneliness in the past has has made you far more aware of the issues that other people go yes. through. Yes. I always think with anything, unless you've actually been there, you don't know what it's like. I didn't know what it was like to have depression until I got it. You had such a big impact on our viewers. We would love to do something for you. We said on air that you didn't have a Christmas tree. No. Which we promised we'd sort out for you. Yes. Am I allowed to go and open your front door? Yes. OK. You stay there, Terence. We've got some people waiting for you outside. Oh, right. Hello, everybody. Would you like to, to come in? Terence, can I please introduce to you these lovely people who've come to see you from Oldham yeah. College? Oh, hi, sir. Hello. They've got, a, they've got an early Christmas <laughs> present for you, Terence. Yeah, <laughs> lovely to see you guys. <laughs> hi. Hello. How are you, sir? Hi, sir. Good evening. <laughs> Today. You're okay, Terence. Oh. It's okay. We've got a tissue at the ready. Yeah. Oh. While um while Terence is sort of sorting himself out, you okay? Yes, I'm yeah? alright. Do you need a seat? No, I'm alright, thank you. Tell us guys why you why you wanted to help out, why you wanted to get involved. We are here to look at your tree and brought to your be Christmas with you. To brought your Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, Terence. We had a lot of people who said they would love to do something for you, but we thought oh, Oldham lovely. College, oh, that's lovely. they're only around the corner from you. <laughs> they were so keen to come and help and do something. Oh, that's uh, so nice. Now, Terence. Yes. Um, we've got one more surprise for you. Oh. Because, uh, oh, dear. I heard you like a carol. Yes, I do. Do you have a favourite? Silent Night. OK, well, do you want to come with me? Oh. I'm going to come oh. this way. I'll help you out. I got it. All right? <laughs> you come to your front door. Oh, dear. We've got a few more friends from Oldham oh College. Oh, dear. Oh, just a minute. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. If you come out here, Terence, this is the Oldham College <laughs> Choir, just for you. Oh. Yes, I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> oh. 